I think I am gonna have to grind that a little bit. I'm trying to get it to fit together without grinding it, because I don't want to change the dimensions of this part too much. All right, I'm gonna try to tack that there. Get it tacked. That's pretty close. Get it tacked and then uh, clean it up and replace that weld on the top. Went outside because it was getting too hot and dusty in there to do all the grinding. After removing like two pounds of weld material, I think I got it back to the dimensions of, or at least close to the dimensions of the original part. There's a big gap in here where the, you can see it tore. And even in the middle there, it's pretty incredible. So I don't know how well that's going to hold. But uh, I'm going to tack it on there. Again, this is part of a different mechanism. So if it wasn't, I'd just cut this off, cut a quarter inch off each side, but that'll make this a half an inch shorter. And it's part of a um, parallel mechanism. So the other part has to be the same length as this one. So I'm going to weld this on here and see where we get. All right, I think I got this about as close as I'm gonna get it to where the original was. It's difficult to tell because the first fix was so poor. There, maybe that's a little closer. Yeah, it slipped. All right, so we're gonna try to weld that and there's a huge gap there, way too big. Um, but I'll get the rest of it welded. I'm not a professional welder by any stretch, but I do know that if a part like this, you're gonna have to weld the back side in addition to the front side, or it's not gonna hold up anything. Because most of the stress is gonna be on this side. All right, let me clean this up and I'll weld the back side. I think that's a lot better. My weld looks okay. Not too bad. This is where I had to fill in that big gap. That should not break again. Now I gotta paint this thing. Alright, so the way this works is this sits in here, inside of here. It's still too hot for me to hold on to. So this sits inside of here, and the spring compresses on this to basically give you an adjustable cushion ride. Kind of a brilliant idea for 40 years ago. So that's, this is why this piece here matches this in size and shape, which is why they need to be um, the same length to make this parallelogram. Um, so anyway, each one of these had the metal pins and then these plastic bushings like you can see on that one, which these are fine actually. I'm not really worried about those. I was trying to get this pin out to clean this off and paint it uh, so it won't rust again. Uh, this one's obviously been removed and kind of hack job replaced. Um, we're going to fix that one for sure. But the pin, the plastic sleeves for this are completely shot. So I'm going to have to make replacements for that. Um, so I'm going to go paint this and clean, get this apart and clean it so that I can paint it as well. And then we'll work on the plastic bushing piece. So this seat is clearly not original. It was replaced probably by the previous owner. And this is not cool. I don't know how <laughs> he thought this would be good. Um, there's just tons of play in this and the bolts aren't even fully attached. So I'm gonna just take this off and paint, clean it and paint it so that we can prevent some of this rust from forming. And then uh, replace these uh, with some washers and such in there so that this uh, sits like it's supposed to. Shouldn't take very long.
I'm not going for restore to brand new, looks like it came from the factory showroom. I'm just going to, first of all, I'm painting it black instead of blue so I know what's been done and what hasn't because some of it looks pretty good. Uh, so black, I know that I've completely rebuilt it. And also the blue is really difficult to find. Uh, and I'm not going for a showroom finish, so all I want to do is prevent the rust from forming and encroaching on more of the tractor. Uh, so we're, we're painting it with that in mind, not to look perfect like it came off the showroom, but uh, to keep it from rusting anymore. So um, this has only been here about 15 minutes and it's dry already. So I'm going to paint that again. There's two more parts of the seat. Uh, this one's a little tacky still. About ready to flip over. I'll paint that side. So while the paint is drying on the chair, I can't put the rest of it together right now. I'm working on the exhaust stack. This is the one that it came with, which is obviously <laughs> totally broken. Uh, replacements of these are not available also from Kubota. So I went to a local muffler shop to have them build me one and it was going to be like $250. So I said, no, I can do it myself. So I have the exhaust, um, I have the manifold and I have the muffler. All I need is a stack. So I'm like, that's not worth $200. So I just went and got a piece of two inch conduit because I couldn't find any exact diameter pipe. Like it's two inch conduit with the bend in it like it's supposed to have. Uh, two inch conduit's slightly too big. So, and then I need to cut these reliefs. Like this has these reliefs so that it'll bend in and clamp down nice and tight. So I'm just gonna cut some one inch reliefs in here with a little zip disc. Um, shouldn't take too long, just probably a few minutes and I'll get this done. so much longer than the other one. The other one was like this tall. Is it blew the exhaust right into the operator's face. Stupid design. This pipe is too big. So I'm hoping I'll be able to crush it down so that it fits right. Or I'll put a sleeve in here to bring it to size. It's probably some weird metric size like 48 millimeters or something. I don't have that. And the end of it's now high enough that it blows the exhaust up over your head instead of the other one was like right here, blowing it right in your face. Much better. So we're going to putting these bolts back in here and uh, putting some washers in there to make sure it doesn't wobble around like it was before. And I've figured out that these are an M8. Uh, but they're a weird thread pitch, so the standard M8 thread pitch doesn't fit, and I'm going to have to go find whatever weird bolt this is. I would just, you know, use a quarter inch bolt, because they're much easier to come by, except for these are all threaded. These are threaded right here, with the same thread. So I'm going to have to take this to the store and find out what it is. While I'm at it, I'm probably going to end up getting a longer one, so that it reaches all the way through here. Uh, and bolts through both sides of this because there's probably a reason this is this way. I'm not sure why they bolted it with just the one, maybe because it was the only bolt they had. <laughs> 